Welcome to this video where I am going to show you how to create a chart or graph in Google Sheets. So I've got some data here in my spreadsheet and it's comparing the cost of different supermarket items at two different supermarkets. Now, whilst I can quite easily see that there's a 22 pence difference in the cost of a 750 gram box of Kellogg's Frosties between these two supermarkets, actually, it's difficult to tell whether these differences are significant. And that's where graphs and charts come into their own because they allow us to visually represent numerical data. And when we do that, then we can see the patterns and we can see the differences so much more easily. So let's make a chart which is going to show the costs of all these different items at the two different supermarkets. To get started with this, I'm gonna select uh, my headers and I'm going to pull down over my data itself. I'm not including the total and I'm not including the differences, I'm just including the headers and the individual items and their prices. Then I can go to insert and click on chart. As soon as I do that Google Sheets will give me um, a pretty decent chart but there are a few tweaks we're going to make to it. First of all, it's plonked it right in the middle of my spreadsheet, which isn't very helpful. So I'm going to move it slightly. To do that, you simply need to click on um, your chart, click and drag. I, I would suggest clicking on an empty white area. So click, drag and find somewhere else to put it. And you might want to also make it a bit bigger so that it's easier to see some of the data. To do that, you just need to click and drag on one of these drag handles on the side. So you can go just wider, or you can go taller, or you could use the corner ones to do both width and height at the same time. Now don't worry too much about this sort of hashing. This just shows that this is an area of your chart that you can click on and change. If you click off your chart, all the hashing disappears and it looks a bit better. So we've made it a little bit larger, which makes it easier to see, um, but I'm not that impressed with the title. So I'm going to change that just by double clicking on the title itself and I'm going to put something a little bit more descriptive and it's a dark grey at the moment and I want it to sort of really pop out so I'm going to make it black so to do that I'll click again on my header and the chart editor appears on the right hand side where you can change all sorts of different things about your chart including the font and the font size and the colour so I'm going to go down to title text colour click on that and I'm going to choose black the next thing I'd like to do is change the colour of the bars because I'd like to actually match them to the brand colours of the supermarkets. So to do that I just need to click on any one of the bars of that particular type. So let's say we want to change the blue as the bars. I've clicked on this blue bar and my chart editor has automatically changed to the series tab. Now if yours hasn't just make sure you're under customise and series and it says apply to ASDA and we've got a colour option and I'm going to change the colour and I'm going to change it to a black colour and you'll see how all of the bars update. Let's do the same now with the Waitrose one so I'm going to click on red and I'm going to change that to a sort of olive green colour which I can't quite get the right colour from my selection so I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to choose my own Waitrosey green so that's starting to look pretty good. Um, I think we could improve things a bit more by adding a axis label for our Y axis. So this is actually the price of each item. So let's click on our chart area and then in the chart editor, I'm going to go to customize and I'm going to go to chart and axis titles. Then I'm going to change the type to the vertical axis, that means going sort of up and down, so that's the one we're using, the up and down axis. And in title text, I'm just going to enter something here. So I'm just going to say that this is the um, item cost, and I'm going to put in brackets a pound sign to show the units, and then I can just press enter. And that's been added to my chart. So that's basically it. I could go through changing a few other things if I wanted to, but as it stands, I think that's a pretty useful chart which quite clearly now starts to show the relative difference in items 
in a, in a better way than we would have seen just by going through lots of numbers. We can immediately see that there's a big difference in the cost of orange juice compared to, say, the difference between the cost of Frosties. And that's the point of charts. It helps you see very clearly the most important information that is there in the numbers, but requires a little bit of working out if you're going to do it just looking at numbers. So to recap, if you want to put a chart into your spreadsheets, you start by selecting the data that's going to go into the chart and the column headings, and then you go to Insert, Chart, and Google will choose the most appropriate chart for you. If, for any reason, the type of chart isn't appropriate, then you can always double-click on the chart, and under Data, change the chart type to a different type. But most of the time, Google Sheets gets it right.